Well, we actually, we had been after the monkey for about maybe three weeks. We had been going in and out of the city of Mission, just going out to the county and coming back. And uh, we had set up our traps, no luck, the first and the second week. Third week, uh, we found out that he was actually spotted north of uh, Three Mile, which is out of the city of Mission, uh, city limits. So uh, we, we were a little proactive. We kept our traps uh, set up, we're still baiting them. And uh, this morning, we went and set up the trap, put in some bread, put in some, uh, some fresh fruit, checked the traps around 2, uh, 2 30, and uh, around 4 o'clock, uh, we got a call that uh, it looked like the monkey was in there, went by and checked it out, and sure enough, yes, it was. It was on uh, Two Mile Line in Los Seminos. Okay. What kind of monkey is this? Well, we had gotten a lot of, uh, a lot of people calling over, giving the descriptions of the animals, and we had printed out some uh, photos. There were, it was all pointing towards a long tail macaque. Now that the actual, we caught the actual animal, it's actually a patas monkey. A what is it? Patas, P-A-T-A-S monkey. Patas monkey. Monkey, that's Just right. Just like the Spanish word, patas. Yes, yes. Where are these common? Where does it come from? What is it doing here? Actually, we don't really know. This is something that just came out of left field. We just got it, uh, put it on our truck, made contact with the Gladys Porter Zoo, and uh, two hours later, here we are. Is it a female, male? It looks like a male. male. It looks like a male. Um, was it aggressive with you guys when you finally went up to it? No, ma'am, it was pretty docile. It, it was. It didn't show no signs of aggression. Tell us a little bit about the bait that you guys used. Uh, actually, what we were using in the beginning was uh, fruit, apples, oranges, papayas, even coconuts. Uh, we did have some some luck, but uh, we, we were told by Mr. Stone, which works at the Gladys Porter Zoo, to try using uh, bread. That that would really help out. And sure enough, we loaded the trap with bread and. We got them. Nope. We got some cinnamon rolls, some banana nut bread. They told me that they really like sweet bread, and uh, apparently they do. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about how the monkey's doing right now. It looks kind of a little bit, I don't know, if it's scared he, he or what? He looks a little scared right now. You know, he, he's been through a lot. Uh, he hasn't been in that cage more than, uh, more than that, more than three hours. You know, it, it's it's a long drive from Mission over to, to Brownsville, so. Did you guys have to use any kind of special equipment to make sure that you guys didn't get bit or any kind of uniforms or anything We like used uh, some uh, some uh, leather gloves. These uh, traps here, they got handles up on top, so there was no contact actually made with the monkey itself, and and there was no uh, we minimal chance of, of myself or my guys getting bit. What will you do with it? We'll I'm sorry? What will you do with the monkey? Are you guys going to leave it here? Are you going to, what are you going to Yes, do? we are going to go ahead and leave it here with uh, Gladys Porter Zoo. Uh, we had heard that there might be more than one, but actually, it, it's just been one. No? Okay. 